Hey, what is happening, folks? This is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you a more than meets the eye episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction, and review all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, McFarlane figures, anime, sprinkled in with a bunch of other stuff. So, if that's something you like, well, then like it and subscribe to it because you're going to love it you're gonna, and you're going to want more of it. Uh, so anyway, I'm not a rhymer or anything like that. But if you don't, that's okay. Thank you for visiting. Uh, so today we are going to go to Transformers Land and got something new in from TF Safari. And it is Black Mamba's DJD-01. But it's in this box and I'll tell you why as we go to my lab. Let's go. Here it is, folks. Black Mamba's DJD, I think that's what it is, dash zero one, AKA Tarn. Now it's not this Tarn, this is the Transformers Legacy Tarn. But the reason why he's standing here is because what's in here is an oversized version of this guy. And so we're gonna take a look at it. I'm excited about this. When I saw it, I was like, oh, cause Tarn's been, is, oh, he's just one of the coolest characters. Uh, as I began to learn about him and read about him and things like that, I just wish he would appear in more and more, more stuff. Uh, how cool would it be to have Tarn in a movie or something like that? So that would be awesome. But uh, Tarn, we're gonna move you to the side here, but this Black Mamba Tarn here is an oversized version of this other Tarn. So we are gonna take a look at it, but the reason why I got it in the brown box is because they give you four, I think it was like, there's $45, with the original packaging or $41 without the original packaging. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna try this without the original packaging just to see, cause I've never done that before. I'm typically keep all my boxes and stuff like that. But you know what? I'm gonna be a little bit more environmentally responsible and maybe just recycle some of those boxes and things like that. So I got this plain brown box. So there's nothing to see on this, but if you wanna see a picture of what that box looks like, I'll put a picture of it up above. Uh, but this is Fragile, so make sure it is from Italia. Uh, so I'm just kidding uh so let's take a look let's open this up see how well tf safari thank you again tf safari pack this And here it is, folks, out of the box and onto my table with a bunch of these peanuts that we can just throw at Tarn from the peanut gallery. Tarn, 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 Darn, Tarn, Darn. Uh, but packaged very securely. I am impressed as I put these up. Eat these, these peanut, little styrofoam peanuts, you don't eat these because if you do eat them, you'll be pooping a cooler a couple days later. Uh, but, uh, they did a really good job at packing it together very securely. I, I think they did an awesome job. So ordering figures loose like that is great. And some people say, well, you know, most people, if you sell this, would want that box. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna sell this guy. He's gonna stay in my collection. Uh, but what you get in the box, you get a big sword, which is very, very cool. That's awesome, because uh, because the legacy one does not come with a sword. Uh, then of course his two El Canyons right here, and I believe they have batteries in them, uh, so they light up. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, no batteries in it right now, but they light up when you do have batteries in them. So I don't have any batteries to put in them. I'm gonna get a need to get some batteries. Uh, and then of course this is the part where these cannons fit on, uh, so you can just kind of throw these on however you want to like so boom so you now you got his cannon guns right there uh now uh you can i think still put these together if you want to have a big gun but uh let's just put it like this that's kind of cool um and then you've got 
the instructions. They give you some Decepticon labels. Uh, and I believe this transforms just like the Legacy Tarn. So let's see if that does. And then you get Tarn himself. And this guy is intimidating and massive. First of all, he's got die cast metal parts in him and plastic. So that is awesome. And that purple on him is friggin' friggin' cool. And from a height standpoint, let me grab my ruler here. Just to tell you here, he stands about, at the top of that antenna, it's about nine inches. Uh, so it's by comparison, as we bring in Legacy Tarn, which is based off of, top of antenna at seven inches, so two inches bigger. You can do a lot with two more inches. Uh, so uh, let's bring that back to the side, but let's look at this main event. And first of all, love, love, love the color. It looks amazing. Uh, you know, I, I just think I like this lighter purple and, and then of course the lighter gray and it looks, this is great. And for $41, they did a really, really good job on this really amazing this is so cool let me pop my camera up a little bit so we can bring it in a little closer might have to raise it even more so give me just a second here oh. someday i will invest in a tripod that i can use especially once i get that uh standing desk set up for my reviews going forward but i don't have that right yet but i have it on a tripod but look at the purple on the head look at the details the things like that that's something really cool if they're going to make it bigger of course they're going to have to put those details in um so this this i just have no words i think this is amazing he he could almost be masterpiece size not quite but almost now if you are you know sunbow and scaling and things like that you're this is not going to be in any of your scaling but i think if you're collecting to display yeah oh yeah this is something really really cool and so let's bring that face in let's bring it in for a closer look but you can tell the Decepticon logo. That's one of the things I like about Tarn is that Decepticon logo is his mask. That's not his real face. His real face is underneath. Uh, but he is part of the DJD, which is the Decepticon, Decepticon Justice Division, I believe is what it's called. Hunting down rogue Decepticons. And he waxes poetic a lot. So, uh, But he is very sadistic and uh, very brutal and all sorts of stuff so yeah there we go there it is from the front but yeah metal in it this is this is hefty uh i should get my postage scale let me see how much how heavy this is i'm gonna grab my postage scale which i do have here and we're gonna put that down once it registers so he is approximately if you look at it i don't know if you can see that he's 13.2 no, 13.1 ounces, uh, whereas the original Legacy Tarn is 4.4 ounces. So this is, this boy is a bit more solid, more solidly built on that. So uh, had to get this postage scale to kind of, because Macari was overcharging me for shipping. So I needed to get more accurate with it. So, um, but yeah, so that, whoa. Pretty awesome. So there's the front, there's the side, there's the back, there's the side, but just overall details, the metallic purple, the metal feet, very, very cool. And then so from a posability standpoint, you do have the head is on a ball joint. Um, I believe, does the head have lights that turn on? I thought it did, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know how to turn it on if they do. Uh, we'll figure that out here in just a moment. Uh, so you have the head on a ball, then the arm, you have that right there, you can come up like so. You don't have a like back or a butterfly joint right there, but you do have more than a 90 degree bend on that arm. And you do have, you can go 360, and it is tight. When you do that, you do have arm swivel, and swivel here and then you got basically you have movement on the hand but not like a fingers that fing type of thing so it's like a hand that fings uh so we got that there on both of them waist no ab crunch but you do have a waist swivel so very very nice and then you do have 
that pops up into about there. I wonder if it goes any further. I'm just afraid to do so, just because I don't want to break it. Um, and then that goes to about there. Not much on that, but you do have more than a 90 degree bend on that. Do you have twist? Yep, you do have twist there. And then the ankle, you do have ankle rocking capabilities. So yeah, so some really, hey, give me a T. All right, so some really, really cool um, posability action shots that you can probably make with this. Uh, and so like when you look at the other one, and I did a, a review on the Legacy Tarn, uh, but uh, just to show you, you know, yeah, it's just all sorts of, same thing. You, you can pop it up so i'm assuming you can get that up further and you can get that back back further but uh, it's just a little tight right now uh so uh let me let me see yeah i don't want to risk it i don't want to risk it oh there we go we got that popped up there we go he's a rocket so he can do that i don't want to risk that Let's try the other leg. Maybe that gives you better luck. No, nope. don't want to risk it. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, as you can see on my Loki review, it broke. I don't want to break this one because this guy is magnificent. Magnificent. Wish I had batteries so we can see how these cannon gimmick works, but we'll see how it works like this. We'll put this on. First you take the cannon, put it on his arm, bump, bump. Then you take the cannon, put it on his arm, bump, bump. And there we go. Noise noise now i've got what in tarnation is going on that looks freaking freaking amazing amazing so uh and then i think with the sword if i wanted to to i can kind of tap it right there if i wanted to which is kind of cool if i want to kind of put it on the arm or i think he can hold it too as well Come on. I have fingers that thing, so I should be able to hold it. There we go. That's what. There we go. Why don't you want to hold the hole? Why don't you want to hold the sword? You know you want it. What's getting in the way of him holding the sword? Oh, I got a little piece of over plastic right there, so uh, that's getting in the way. Maybe we'll put it in the other hand then with his gun. Fine. If you don't want to go in that hand, you'll go in this hand or not it just there we go i just gotta force it there we are so we got a sword for him i'd like to paint that silver that that would make it look cool or pur oh, metallic purple that would look awesome a metallic purple sword with this well anyway i've rambled enough because this <sighs> black mamba oh mamba mamba italiano you're doing an amazing job so Again, let's bring them in together. So there from a scale standpoint, you could see uh, just how much bigger this tarn is. Uh, let me grab a couple other bots so we can kind of scale it too. So you can see from a masterpiece and a legend size, maybe a deluxe too as well. And here is how he scales with some other bots I brought in his buddies, regular Tarn and of course Bludgeon. Uh, so we got Core Class right there, Bomb Burst, Mr. Core Class. Then we got uh, Iron Factory Cyclonus. Now I have Iron Factory's Tarn, but I'm waiting for a couple other bots to come in so I can do the whole DJD on that one. Uh, and then we have Masterpiece Magic Squares uh, Optimus Prime. Just from a, let me move you out of the way, Bludgeon. Just from a scale standpoint, look, just masterpiece level. He's almost, almost there, uh, almost head tall, as as tall as Prime. Uh, so, wow, wow. So this thing is friggin' awesome. That's all I gotta say. He is friggin' awesome. I wish there could be a more. I and mean, Black Mamba has some other uh bots so i may have to pick those up too if, especially if this is this turns out to be really really great especially for a, a a ko an oversized ko of hasbro's little job there but uh what we're gonna do now is get this guy in alt mode and kind of show you what that looks like
Tank, it is here. This is him. He is glorious. I love him. I do have one minor complaint about him. So notice this right here. It's all just gray, 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 gray. Painted. So mine did not get painted. I'm gonna reach out to TF Safari's after sales. See if there is a way, maybe they can just send me this piece and see if that will work. Uh, but you never know. I, I mean, it's just a minor quibble. Uh, if I can get some silver paint and some color match it and with that purple paint there, maybe I can make it look pretty semi-decent. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, this is the tank mode and it is glorious. Uh, pretty similar. I mean, very, I mean, just about similar to transforming the legacy tarn um but uh there's just there was just a couple minor differences where there should have been a slot here but there was not uh it was more of a slot on the other side so it just but other than that really really good the only really tough parts was this part right here uh and the main reason why is because this is a friction joint and this is a pretty tight fit and so every now and then that and this is a tight tolerance right here so uh it would just pop off so you would have to kind of push it from here and it just finally just worked its way it took me about 30 minutes on one side because it just this was so tight this just kept popping off and so i had to keep trying it over and over and over again sword you can pop it right there i, I want to get that silvered i'm going to get that so or metallic purple Ooh, yeah uh but looks really really cool i think looks awesome this is tarn the tank tarn the tank but there he is let me pop my camera up so we can kind of get a meaner closer look at it but there it is. It is just glorious. I mean, you got to be careful. This part's die cast. The feet are die cast here. So you got to be careful with die cast and plastic. You know, sometimes they just don't like to mix. But there's the side, the bottom, Tarn's face. Um, and that side right there, that, that side. Something really cool with these guns. Of course, you can move them. Uh, I wanted to experiment. I didn't do this yet, but I'm going to do it now. What if... Now I know this is not how it looks in the comic book, so y'all bear with me. But I'm gonna put that right there. And stick that. Stick this in like so. And we're gonna have a friggin' big <laughs> cannon. Look at that. That is kind of cool there. I mean, you could you can do whatever you want. It's your toy. Uh, play with it however you like. You can kind of, if you wanted to, you can. Let's put one right there, put one right here, and you can mix, match, hip hop, whatever you want to do. Don't stop a rocking, a knocking. You can make it look however you want to, even if you want to take the sword, take this, I'm going to, no, those won't fit well. Well, maybe they will. Let me try something here. We'll put that there and put this one here and then put that up there and we can do that kind of interesting but yeah you can play with it however you want to you can do whatever you want have fun with it maybe right here Some of y'all are like, Jimmy, stop this, stop this, stop this insanity. Hey, I, I am doing all the science experiments for y'all, so y'all don't have to do any of them. So, and then we'll just keep that sword right like so. Like that, so you can have some guns like so. Tarn has so much playability. In no way is this IDW accurate or anything like that, but it is cool nonetheless on what you can do but let's put them back to idw accurate you know wah 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 so jimmy having to be a party pooper so i think it'd be cool like if tarn had to shoot at an enemy from long range you could do the big long cannon uh you could, if he needed to do sh short range or swivel you got the swivel right there um and then yeah and the sword S word fits right there. I think that looks really good. Uh, just like that. And so, um, let's bring in the other Tarn. Legacy Tarn. So you can kind of see them together side by side. 
but yeah, just this is more solid than this one here. Uh, I got some loose kind of stuff on this one here, a little loosey goosey, uh, but that's okay. But yeah, there they are from the side. You can kind of see just how he compares to this one right here. Uh, and let's bring in some other, uh, another vehicle to compare him to. So that way we can kind of, oh, my tank wants to come off here, my guns, uh, see how he compares to some of the vehicles. There he is. This is the Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. Let me move you out of the way, Tarn, so you can kind of see from a size comparison with this Masterpiece. Doesn't really scale well with the Masterpiece, but with the MMC uh, Revolution, or I forgot what it's called, MMC something, reformatted, uh, it scales really, really well together. So I got the MMC Death so I wonder how he'll look with that. But from a length standpoint, the tank is about seven inches, but if I go all the way back here, more like eight, then he stands up to about two and a half right there. So uh, legend scale, of course, he's just gonna crush legend scale and he's gonna crush core class, uh, but that's how he scales. So let's do this. Let's get back together for some of my final thoughts on Hey Mamba, Black Mamba Italiano, and let's do it. My final thoughts on Black Mamba, Mamba Italiano, oh, Black Mamba DJD-01 AKA Tarn is all I've got to say, scale of good, bad, awesome. He is off the awesome chart. He is like freaking, uh, He's unspeakably awesome. This thing is amazing. It's got a lot of heft for a fourth party figure, a KO figure. Oh my gosh, man. I, you know, this, and for the price, I, I, I just don't know what to say. This thing is awesome. This thing is cool. From the articulation, uh, which is pretty decent, uh, the, the heft with the die cast in it, the paint job, I love this metallic purple on him. Uh, I think I'll keep him like this with his sword on that gun, so he has a, like a bayonet uh, on that, so that's, that's pretty freaking amazing. Um, but, I mean, here's Legacy, and here's this one. Now, if you want something to scale with stuff, like that does the sunbow scale, all that kind of stuff, this is not your guy. This will not fit in any scale. Almost to Masterpiece. Maybe MMC, I've seen it kind of look almost on par. Like with the MMC Tarn, this one actually still stands a little bit taller than that one. Uh, but uh, if you want to scale this, but this was $34.99. I think in some places it was $40. This was $41 without the box, $45. So for $10 more, you get two more inches of tarn. Uh, how awesome is that? And so TF Safari has it for $41.99 if you don't care about the box. I, it got here in like 10 days, which is freaking amazing. Probably the reason why no batteries, uh, again, import. Sometimes they, they, they're very funny about that in uh, customs with batteries and things like that. Ask anyone that ordered uh, Vladistock or AKA Metroplex and had their <laughs> rejected because of the batteries in that but if i want a very good representation of tarn this is the way to go transformation is exactly just about exactly like the legacy one there's still a couple nuances but just like the legacy one vehicle mode on this looks great uh it's you know what? I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done. That's all I can say about it. So if you want a great Tarn, go pick this Tarn up. What in Tarnation are you waiting for? You should stop watching me now and go pick it up. I'll put a link down below where you can get it. I don't get any commission. I don't get any of that stuff. I just think you should get this figure before it sells out. And then you're paying upwards of 80 bucks from someone here in the States on that. So you should go get that. So with that, that's all I got to say. So you remember y'all until next time, stay young, have fun and be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.